This is Joseph Lebrecht with another quick tip around Adobe Animate CC. And this one involves bitmap images and converting bitmap images to vector shapes. So if you look here, I have a bitmap image right here of the Animate logo. And it's in my library as well. Let's look at properties with this selected. We can see it's a bitmap. How do we transform this into a vector shape? Of course, you could use Illustrator to do this, but I find the tools in there a little cumbersome when it comes to translating bitmaps to vectors. If we have this image selected and we choose Modify, Bitmap, Trace Bitmap, we get this neat little Trace Bitmap dialog. And what we can do here is play with the color threshold, the minimum area, the corner threshold, and the curve fit. And preview, now that's a little odd there. We want many corners, perhaps. We don't want it smooth, we want it tight. Let's preview again. And that looks pretty good. What if I want to just isolate a N out of this? Then that may work. Let's change that to normal, preview again. All right, let's just go with that. So you can just keep tweaking this and hitting OK each time you do so. And you can even nail it down to the curve fit of pixels if you need. However, I just want to get it until it's pretty representative of the logo here. So let's hit OK. And you can see at this point we're using a shape. And because we're using a shape, I can use the selection tool to select and delete portions of this shape. And now I've got animate and I can change it into any color I want. Maybe I want to change it into edge animate. We can do that here by changing it to like a dark purpley blue color, right? So that's a throwback. Anyway, that's how you go ahead and change bitmap images into vector data inside animate CC.